Hi everyone, Assalamu alaikum. Today we're going to learn about the rock cycle. So, what does rock cycle mean? Rock cycle means the earth's crust properties keep on changing from one form to another. The cycle will continuously change. That's called rock cycle. Let's do a 3D model. I used a cardboard to get the shape of a volcano and then covered it with tissue and painted it. Then, I take some real rocks, for example, and then place glue on it. Yay, done! Now, let's go through the rock cycle one by one. There are three types of rocks. Igneous rocks, sedimentary rock, and metamorphic rock. Let's talk about the igneous rock. The name igneous comes from the Latin word which means fire. These rocks are form of magma, which is molten material found deep inside the Earth's crust. And later, this magma comes out of a volcano and cools down and solidifies. There are two types of these rocks. When the magma solidifies inside the Earth's surface, it's called intrusive igneous. When the magma erupts above the Earth's surface, it's called exclusive igneous. And later on, because of weathering and erosion, the igneous rocks break down into sediments. So now let's talk about the sedimentary rocks. Sedimentary rocks are made up of sediments, like tiny rocks, plants, sand, and organic materials that settle at the bottom of the ocean or land as gravity pulls. Sometimes, these sedimentary rocks contain fossils. Wow! Sedimentary rock forms when sediment grows up over time, it's compressed. The word sedimentary in the Latin word means settle down. Later, when sedimentary rocks or any rocks are buried deep down the Earth's crust, it becomes metamorphic. Let's talk about the metamorphic rock. Metamorphic means to change and transform by heat and pressure. Any type of rock can become metamorphic when transformed by extreme heat and pressure. They form deep between the Earth's crust. If the newly formed metamorphic rock continues to have a lot of heat, they can eventually melt and become magma. And then the magma is in the volcano, so it erupts again and then forms igneous rock. And this cycle will always continue. It's a never-ending story. Amazing. Now let's do a simple experiment to demonstrate how the rock cycle is done. We need crayons, a scissor, an aluminum foil or parchment paper, and a plate. So let's say these crayons are an igneous rock. And then there's weathering erosion. We have sediments right now. Now there's erosion happening. The sediments are compression. Now we have sedimentary rock. Now we're gonna pour the sedimentary rocks into the aluminum foil. And then put hot water in a bowl and put it on top of it. So now the sedimentary rock in a, is in a lot of heat, turning into metamorphic rock. We're gonna put in more heat and there are magma. We're going to take it down and let it cool down. Now we are back to our igneous rock, to where we started. Now let's continue this. Let's do it again. Yeah, weathering erosion taking place again. Sediments. No, I'm just kidding. We're not going to do it again. The rock cycle is a never ending story. That's all for the experiment. Al Kabir the Great. Allah Al Kabir is the greatest to create these amazing rocks and he made it to never stop. And it's so amazing how the cycle continues forever and it's so useful for the humans and the environment. We can use rocks to make fire, build houses and many more. Thank you for watching.